my eyes red from indigestion. I stop eating meat and retreat the plants, but see the plants are alive too, defy the nun. I decide to try the sun. Using its energy, I plant my ebony form into its midst. I get a kiss from the fairest lips in the universe. The sun, moon, and earth combine as one. The righteous one defies the sun and begins to spin. And when within controls his movement, his soul is moving to all but soothing. It becomes he hears drums. They distract him from the cactus. He sees leaves on the trees photosynthesizing energy. He recalls that he need not even the sun's light to live. He is one bright image, only seen by the purest thing. The stones and the leaves recognize his presence and question his essence. At this moment, they fall but glow as well. The chosen tell of these stories and release orgies of more things to be told, but only interpreted in mold, formed to equations they can get used to. One plus one's two. Two plus one is three. These things lead them to the truth, but truth is beyond mathematical too. It's a state of being. A mode of being, the chosen being, breaks the mold and sings in the ohm he brings. Uncontrollable things, controlled by kings in illusional ways. He wrote in clay, and it broke in the rain. The archaeologists tried to take it apart back to its original prominence, but the opposite occurred. It dropped and split, injured by the attempt. The archaeologists recompensed with God, hoping he could show him the ohm. Oh. Oh.